Workflow Rules in Zoho Recruit Workflow rules allow an organization to automate certain actions based on predefined criteria and triggers within the system. For example, you can send out an email automatically to a candidate as soon as their application is marked as rejected. Now to configure a workflow rule, navigate to setup on the right top corner, select workflow rules within automation and click on create rule on the right panel of your screen. Now the module that you select when you're creating a workflow rule depends on where the trigger takes place. For example, if you need to send out an interview notification to an interviewer or a candidate whenever an interview is scheduled, the trigger takes place in the interviews module. So make sure you determine your trigger based on which you can select the module as well. Once you've selected your module, go ahead and assign a rule name. The rule name and the description here are for the user's reference. Now the triggers are of two types, on a record action and on a date time. Now if you select on a date time, you can execute this workflow rule based on a date or a date time value within a particular field on the selected module. So once you select the field, you can then go ahead and determine whether this particular workflow rule needs to be executed a certain number of days before the selected date or a certain number of days after the selected date or on the selected date. You can then select the time of execution as well. Now, if you have selected a date time field, the time of execution can either be the time value on the date time field or if you've selected a date field or a date time field as well, you can select a static time at which this workflow will be executed on the given date. You can then set up a frequency on the execution cycle as well. Whether you need this workflow to be executed only once on the given date or every month on the selected date or every year on the selected date. Alternatively, if you select a record action, the triggers available are create, edit, create or edit, field update where any value within a selected field is updated and candidate stage where when the candidate stages changes from one stage to another stage or if the record is deleted. Now if you select field update, you can determine whether this workflow needs to be executed when all the selected fields need to be executed or when any of the fields needs to be updated. And the triggers on a record action vary from module to module because the list of actions available in Zoho Recruit depend on the nature of module itself. For example, if we create a workflow rule for the interviews module, the triggers available are schedule, reschedule, schedule or reschedule or change status of the interview or if the interview is cancelled. So make sure you select the trigger appropriately for the module that you select. Once you have determined your trigger, you can then go ahead and click on next. At which point you can determine your criteria based on which the workflow needs to be triggered. For example, if you need to send out email notifications to candidates that belong to various departments, you can specify the criteria here accordingly and you can also choose to combine multiple criteria together. But keep in mind if you have different notifications or different actions for various criteria, you will have to create multiple workflow rules for each of the criteria that you would need. And if you want to trigger this workflow rule irrespective of criteria, you can simply select all candidates or in other words, all records depending on the module that you have created the workflow rule for. Go ahead and click on next. Now the actions within a workflow rule are categorized into two types, instant actions and scheduled actions. Instant actions are executed as soon as the workflow is triggered. Scheduled actions allows you to add a delay before the action is triggered. For example, if an application is marked as rejected and the organization would like to add a day's delay before a notification is sent to them, that would be categorized under a scheduled action. And whenever you create an action, the available actions are notification, where you can choose to send out an email. So when we click on notify and via email, 
we have the option to create an alert. So the alert allows you to add a name, which is again for the user's reference. You can select an existing email template for the module that you're creating the workflow rule for. And finally, select the email recipients. The alert correlates the email template to the recipient. So while you create the email template separately, the alert helps the system determine who the email needs to be sent out to. So any individual that is added on the right panel here will be a potential recipient of that particular email. And if you would like to send out an email to any individual that is not available in Zoho Recruit, you can add their emails under the additional recipients section as comma separated values. Once you're done, you can go ahead and click on save and associate. Once you save an alert, this alert is saved within a centralized alert repository that you can choose to reuse for additional workflow rules as well without the need for you to create alerts every single time. And keep in mind, if you have integrated your Zoho Recruit account with an SMS vendor, you will also be able to automate SMSs from Zoho Recruit as well. The next action involves tasks. So tasks serve as a reminder for a particular user. So when you're creating a task, you can add a subject along with merge field values as well. You can set the due date based on the workflow rule trigger date or any date value available on the record. You can set a status as well, priority, and the user to whom the task is going to be assigned to as well. Apart from this, you can add a description, a notification, and a reminder too. And when you set a reminder, you can determine whether the reminder needs to go via email or a pop-up within Zoho Recruit for the respective user. Once you're done creating a task and you save and associate this, this gets saved within a centralized task repository which point you can choose to reuse the same task template for a different workflow rule without the need for you to create the task template again. You can choose to update a specific field value as well. And you can go ahead, click on new update. Give the field update a name. Select the module in which you're updating the field. Select the field and the value that you would like to update as well. Now, if you would like to empty the field that is if there is already a value available within the field and you would like to make sure that the field value is empty you can select the option set as empty and once you save and associate this field update this automatically gets saved within a centralized repository where you can choose to reuse this field update within additional workflow rules without the need for you to create the field update from scratch and at the same time, you can also choose to execute a webhook, which is an API call to a third party system or for Zoho Recruit itself. Or you can also choose to execute custom function or, you know, in other words, it is a custom script that you can execute within Zoho Recruit. Alternatively, you can also choose to add specific tags or remove specific tags from an existing record under the tag section. Now, if you add a scheduled action, you have the option to add a delay either in terms of hours, days or minutes. And once you've determined your delay, you can then go ahead and set up the action. And as mentioned earlier, a scheduled action adds a delay before the workflow is triggered and the action is executed. Once you're done adding your workflow rule, you can go ahead and click on save and this will create your workflow rule. Any workflow rule that is created will be active by default. And if you would like to deactivate the workflow rule, simply click on the toggle icon under the status column right here, and this will deactivate your workflow rule. And once you've created all your workflow rules and actions, all the actions that you create are saved within the action section of automation. You can either access this from the left panel of your screen if you are under workflow rules or you can navigate to setup, select actions with an automation where you can see a list of the centralized repositories, which is alerts, tasks, field updates, webhooks, and functions. You can choose to reuse these actions within additional workflow rules as long as the action corresponds to the module that you're creating the workflow rule for.